Hey, what is up guys? My name is Oleg, this is Bond. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a full review of Undone Watches Urban Vintage. Undone Watches is a unique watch company that offers fully customizable watches. You can customize pretty much every aspect of the watch. And now I think they even have a partnership with Peanuts Cartoons. So you can add uh, Peanuts Cartoons characters to your watches. You can add uh, Snoopy or you can add Charlie Brown or any number of other Peanuts characters on the dials, which I think is pretty cool. So the watch I'm reviewing today is called the Kili. I believe this is their most popular watch and this is actually the second watch that I'm reviewing from Undone Watches. The first one was the Tropical Dial Watch and that one was pretty good, but the biggest negative was the price of $360. This one here is priced at $265, so $95 less, and I believe it is better. So let's get started with the review. Let's start the review as always by looking at the dimensions of the case. We have a diameter of 40 millimeters, a lug to lug width of 48 millimeters, a lug width of 20 millimeters, and the thickness of 12 and a half millimeters. A lot of that does come from this domed crystal. 40 millimeter case diameter works really well for this type of watch because obviously they're trying to uh, homage some of the older vintage chronograph uh, watches but they're kind of putting in a modern twist on them and by making a case at 40 millimeters i think it fits pretty much all types of wrist sizes i already reviewed one of the undone watches and the first thing that people kept on saying was like oh it's another one of the fashion watch brands because it is just a quartz uh, watch so let's talk about that first so this one here has the uh, seiko mecca quartz v61 uh, movement now, basically, Mecha Quartz is a combination of a quartz powered movement with mechanical uh, chronograph uh, module added on. So when we start the chronograph, the top pusher starts the chronograph. You can see how it goes and you can even hear that snap. So it has that very satisfying snap, almost the same way as a mechanical chronograph would. Uh, you push the top pusher again to stop the chronograph and you can start and stop as you wish. And then uh, the bottom uh, the bottom pusher, sorry, resets the chronograph back to zero. And again, it has that mechanical uh, snap. I am a fan of these type of movements, but I can totally understand if you don't like them. Because if you are a fan of mechanical chronographs, uh, definitely this watch is not going to be right for you. Because when you rotate the crown, nothing really happens. It doesn't have the same feeling as a mechanical or an automatic chronograph would which is uh, too bad, but at the same time for $265, that's how much this watch costs without any customization. And there are a few things that you can customize, like choose different hands, different dials. Uh, you can choose uh, even a tachymeter on the bezel that of course will cost you extra. You can put your name on the back or put a special message on the back. You can even add your logo to the front or a name or something like that. I went with just a clear uh, version for this. I, I like the design of a clear version. But either way, $265 for this base model. Uh, that's not a bad price if you consider that uh, buying a mechanical chronograph, uh, it's, it's unrealistic to buy one at that price point. Uh, just service of a mechanical chronograph will cost uh, more than how much this watch costs. So it's a good alternative for someone who's looking for a look of a mechanical chronograph but doesn't want to spend the money on a real mechanical chronograph and doesn't want to deal with the hassle and headache of owning a uh, vintage chronograph. Now, I personally am a big fan of vintage chronographs. I still prefer the vintage chronographs, but I can admit that there are so many different headaches and pains with vintage chronographs. I recently bought a vintage Bomb and Mercier, and uh, now I need to fix some things about it, and I need to service it, and the servicing alone is $300. So servicing on that watch costs more than how much this watch costs. The only real servicing with this one is to exchange the battery uh, every two years or so, depending on how often you run the chronograph, I think not a bad deal. Now to the point that this is just another fashion watch or a designer watch, I guess you could kind of label it like that. I mean, yes, because it is quartz and it is customizable, but I think uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, and you know, you're not a real watch guy if you wear a fashion watch. I don't agree with that statement at all. You know, wear whatever makes you happy. So don't be intimidated if you want to buy one of these watches. You know, buy what you like. And if you don't like it, 
Well, of course don't buy it. There's so many other alternatives at this price point. Uh, Seiko Recraft series makes some great watches at this price point. Uh, you have great citizen options at this price point. Dan Henry uh, makes watches at this price point. Interestingly enough, none of them have sapphire crystals, neither does this watch. So this one here comes with the K1 crystal. It's a nice domed crystal, but it's not sapphire. And that's kind of my first negative with the watch, I guess. My real uh, negative with the watch. And again, none of the other uh, competitors, quote unquote, in this price category have sapphire crystals. So I think if Undone did have a sapphire crystal, that would have a huge advantage over the competition. Uh, maybe something for them to consider. The watch does come in a stainless steel case with some alternating finishes. So you have kind of this uh, brushed portion here and then we have polished. Uh, the case is interesting to look at. Uh, a little bit of chamfering here on the lug. I, I like these lugs. Uh, they, they look cool and they kind of uh, curve in even though the lug width is only 48 or 47 millimeters. So it would fit small wrists uh, nicely. But I like how the lugs are not just straight, they kind of curve in, so they hug the wrist even better. Of course, we have the cyan crown with the Undone logo at the three o'clock position. So the star of the show, so to speak, is this dial. I really like it. I like this kind of a creamy color, so it's not white. It has that aged look to it, but of course it's brand new. You can tell it's brand new. Uh, you're not fooling anyone with this one, but it does look nice. I like the telemeter and the tachymeter in red and blue. I like the sub dials, the one by six o'clock position, that's for the seconds for the main timekeeping. Then we have the one by nine o'clock position, that's for the minutes running track for the chronograph. And this main seconds hand is of course the chronograph seconds hand. Let's start it up again. And then undone logo at the bottom here. And this crystal creates nice distortion, nice distortion angles. So it's a cool watch to look at from different angles. But again, I do wish it had that sapphire crystal instead of this uh, kind of K1 plastic crystal. Something that I do like about this watch is this leather strap. It's of a great quality and has quick release pins, which is very useful. Genuine leather and the Undone logo stamped here. A really nice leather strap to wear. It's soft, it's comfortable. The only thing I would warn you guys against, I had this watch for about two weeks now and the leather strap is quite dirty. So it dirties up quickly in this color. If you're okay with that, go for this color. If you uh, like your leather straps to remain clean and uh, more fresh looking for a long period of time, maybe choose a different color. And of course you can customize these watches however you want to. I would uh, maybe go for a different color choice, maybe a little bit darker uh, shade so it's not as dirty as quickly. And of course the tank style buckle here with the Undone logo. Uh, etched in. Something that I don't really like about this watch is the case back. So it's just a snap in place uh, case back. It's not screwed down and it only gives the watch 30 meters of water resistance. It's a chronograph, so it's okay, I guess, but 50 meters or even 100 meters would be preferred. And uh, the snap in place case backs are the cheapest ones to do. So it would be nice to see a nice screw down case back. So what are my final thoughts on the watch? I think it's pretty cool. I think you would have to be really into the look of this uh, chronograph or the chronograph that you designed for yourself to truly enjoy it. Of course, it's a, a Mecca quartz, so it's not a true mechanical chronograph and you have to be okay with that. I like that sweeping seconds hand. It makes uh, the watch more pleasing to the eye when the chronograph is running. The only real telltale sign that this is a uh, quartz movement is this sub seconds hand by a six o'clock position. Of course, that takes one second at a time and you can tell that that's a, a quartz watch on your wrist. Other than that, a pretty solid offering, I think at $165. That is a good chunk of change, but uh, the price point is all right. And especially with all the customizable options that are available, uh, not a bad watch to go for. But again, you do have to like the design quite a bit and that's what you really are buying. The quality is good, but the design and the look, the aesthetic of the watch are its strongest features. And here's what the watch looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It looks good. I think that 40 millimeter case diameter fits on my wrist really well. And it's a light watch, of course. It's a quartz watch, 
so it's not very heavy and the leather strap makes it quite comfortable to wear. All right guys, so that was my full review for Urban Vintage from Undone Watches. I do quite like this watch. Uh, the design of it is a really strong feature and if you know me, I'm into these vintage uh, chronographs, so this watch was right up my alley. I appreciate you watching this video until the end. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about these Undone Watches. Uh, do you have any experience with them? Are they just uh, designer watches because they are uh, quartz powered. Uh, leave all those thoughts below. I always enjoy reading your comments. By the way, today on my wrist I'm wearing my 1970s uh, vintage chronograph from a company called Chateau. I did an unboxing of this watch. Still haven't done a review. I have some updates for you and the news are not fantastic. That's kind of the risk you take when you buy one of these vintage chronos. Also in the description of this video there is a secret link. Check it out if you're interested. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you had fun and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.